This is one of the videos I wanted to show you, and, and we're gonna end in a couple of minutes with this. Um, these are cells, this is time-lapse photography. A few seconds of this is multiple hours in terms of cell migration. These are fibroblasts migrating on flat surfaces. You can see it's completely disorganized. There's cells here having a tug of war. There's all kinds of things going on in here, but it's completely disorganized. And if you look at cells on an individual level, here, you can see these cells are migrating, and they're sort of doing a random walk. These cells are not migrating at all because they've had the RAS knocked out of them. And essentially, this cell is going to undergo cell proliferation. You're going to see two cells there in a, in a couple seconds after it, after it rounds up uh, right now, and it's going to split into two daughter cells, and you're going to see the two cells migrate away. So that's very typical cell behavior on a flat surface. Now, this is what happens with cells in collagen on the left. These cells are migrating out into disorganized collagen, and you see the collagen being pulled into the surface. This is wound contracture and wound healing. On the right, these cells are on organized collagen, which has been stretched out so the collagen fibers were organized. And you can see these cells have heads and tails, and these are the cells on the PVA fibronectin channel surfaces. And you can see they have a small ruffling membrane at the front and a tail at the back, and they're very organized, and they, and they migrate in a very organized fashion. This is exactly what happens on the laser lock surface. We have electron microscope pictures of cells doing this, but we never actually did time-lapse video of it. And this finally is what happens when you have cells on microchannel, very similar to the laser lock microchannels. You can see these cells migrate in. When they hit the smooth surfaces, they don't know which way to go. When they hit this cross hatching, they get very disorganized. But the cells on these microchannels, and these are very similar to the laser lock microchannels, um, are very organized. And this is essentially what we're doing with our surfaces.